Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in today. I've been running these two mowers for the past month and a half, and I gotta say, the World Lawn is a great mower. I really like running it. It does a really clean cut, powerful. It starts every time, relatively easy to maneuver, but I decided to upgrade to something and decided to add another piece of equipment to my fleet. I went out and bought this Snapper Pro S50 XT with a 36 inch deck. This is um, a little bit more of a machine than either of these, but I think it's gonna pay for itself. I took advantage of 0% financing on this machine, which is great. I didn't have to put any out of pocket to get on it. The reason I upgraded to this machine, because this is a great machine for some of the larger yards that I do, even some of the smaller yards that I do. However, when I do two or three or four lawns in a day in the North Carolina heat, I am whipped. I probably should have just got this from the start because it just makes more sense. It's small, it's agile enough to get through fences and gates and things like that. I'm actually gonna be selling this machine. I don't need to sell it right away, um, but I've got it up for sale on a couple different sites, so that's gonna go bye-bye. I wish I could keep it, I just don't have the room for it, and I really can't get these two on the trailer. I wish I got a little bit bigger of a trailer, but I can't get this machine and this machine on the trailer at the same time. I can only fit either those two or those two at once. Maybe if I maneuver it, I don't know, I have to play around with it a little bit, but anyways, on to the new Snapper Pro. So this is a commercial Snapper Pro machine, basically the exact same as a Ferris F60Z, I think. They are literally the most identical machines you can think of, like a Chevy Silverado and a GMC Sierra. They are identical. The only thing is different is the stickers on them. So this is a 36 inch deck. They also make it in a 48. Um, I opted for the smaller deck just because of the yards that I do. Some good things about this, underneath here you can get to all the belts underneath to get um, maintenance done and things like that. This has dual gas tanks, one on either side, and they are both four gallon gas tanks. And the valve here is just on the back and you can switch sides depending on where you want fuel to come from and that's the off position there. So on the left side here we've got the throttle control and the choke and then a fuel gauge for this tank and on the right side we've got the built-in hour meter. Right now I've got exactly two hours on the engine 2.0. Here's the key electric start, PTO turn on and then the other fuel tank gauge on this side. These are the control stocks for the hydraulic pumps. There's a little bit of adjustability here. I actually lowered these. These were up here before and I thought it was a little too high for me when I was riding the machine. Um, so I lowered them down to this setting and pulled them all the way back. So I think that's much more comfortable for me. Bigger people will probably want them up higher and maybe forward, but that's up to you. The seat is adjustable here on the front with um, this little lever. It's hard to do it, but um, that with one hand. So you just push the lever and then the seat slides forward and backwards. This is the parking brake for the machine. Very simple. Um, this is parking on, this is parking off. What I really like about this machine also is you can cut in quarter inch increments, which is awesome. Uh, from one and a half all the way to four. So we've got one inch setting here. <clears throat> and if you remove the pin, I think that's how you get the one and a half inch setting. So this is one and a half. Then I could also do one and three quarter. I could do two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, you know, all just like that. So it's a simple pin. And then this is the foot lever that lowers the deck. So when you're sitting in the operator's seat, you put the setting when the deck is up to what you want. And then you push on the deck a little bit and then this lever here lifts up and then the foot pedal comes back and the deck lowers. And then to raise the deck back up, it automatically locks. So you just push the lever and it sticks forward and this lever is locked in place. So really, really nice functionality with that. I like that there's quarter inch increments. That machine only has half inch increments and this only has half inch, but I think I'll use this quarter inch setting um, a lot more. So this machine is powered by a Kawasaki FX600V two cylinder, 19 horsepower motor. Um, this is my first Kawasaki motor, uh, but I don't think there's going to be any issues with it. Hopefully, cross your fingers. It's got this heavy-duty air intake on here, which is nice. So here's where the oil change stuff is. There's a filter down in there. This is the oil drain tube. I'm going to have to figure something out for that because it really doesn't have a good spot to drain. Um, it's weird. Once I do the first oil change, I'll have to see if 
there's something better. Here's the dipstick right here. And then there's a look at the two reservoirs for the hydraulic pumps. This seat lifts up to reveal the battery and it automatically locks in place. And you can kind of get a look at all the pulleys and belts and things like that down there. And maybe a little bit, there's one of the pumps. You can see there's another pump. I forget which pumps are on this machine. They are hydro gear. There's one of them. These are ZT3100s. So there's two of them. Very nice heavy duty serviceability on those. Turf Master tires. These are 20 inch by seven inch on a 10 inch rim. And we've got no flat tires in the front on casters. So I've used this a couple of times now. Uh, I really, really like it. It makes mowing the yards that I have much easier. Uh, I've got a few things I wanna do to this machine. First off, I need to get some sort of deck lift so that I can get underneath and clean the deck out and change blades and things like that. So Snapper and Ferris make a bracket that bolts into these holes here. And then there's a jack that you can attach to raise it up and it's all built in and it's nice. I'm thinking about getting that. Otherwise I might just get one of those aftermarket ones where you slide it under and you crank it up and it just lifts the machine up so you can get underneath it.